look What's up mga kakote? It's me, Kuya Jet. Welcome sa Quaderno Sir Learning sa Name of the Game. At kung bago pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na ang subscribe, like, and share button para maging updated ka sa aming videos. What's up mga kakote? Another educational vlog na naman ng ating tatalakayin at magpapatuloy natin ang ating uh, business mat. Ayan. So, on our previous ano, vlog, we discuss about the compound interest. And for this educational vlog, we will discussing the three kinds of rates. So, what are the three kinds of rates? So, first of all, we have the periodic rate, uh, den or denoted by small letter I. It Periodic rate is a rate used to compute compound interest factors and it is equal to the interest rate divided by the conversion period. Second, we have the nominal rate or denoted as capital letter J. Nominal rate is stated annual rate of interest when the conversion period is other than a year. And third, we have the effective rate or denoted as a small letter E. Effective rate is an annual rate of interest when the conversion period is only one year. So, ano nga ba yung formula natin para sa effective rate or yung small letter E natin? So, effective, ra effective rate is equals to 1 plus the nominal rate or the capital letter J is divided into letter M. Bago, i raise din natin siya sa, sa M and then we minus it to 1 and then we multiply it to 100. So, ito siya. Yan, yan. So, let's take a note in pag tayo ay naka-encounter ng isang effective rate. So, when interest is compounded annually, E is equals to J. Or yung effective rate natin is equals to nominal rate. So, when it is compounded more than once a year, our uh, our nominal rate, our effective, effective rate is greater than our nominal rate. So, mas malaki yung effective rate natin. So, in comparing two different rates at different conversion periods per year, ito yung M natin, their respective effective rates are computed. So, yan. So, how do we compute a uh, nominal rate or our capital J? So, J is equals to M. Then, we multiply it to 1 plus E raised to 1 over M minus 1. Tapos, we multiply it again by 100. So, ayan siya para hindi magulo. Yan. So, ang, let's take a note para sa nominal rate. Uh, in any investment problem, if the rate is not specified as nominal or effective, it is assumed the given rate is nominal. Yan. Kapag daw hindi nasabing nominal or effective, siya matik na daw na nominal siya. So, for our rate conversion, paano nga ba siya? So, equivalent rates or yung ating small letter EQ, if two rates produce equal interest on the same principal amount in the same period of time. So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng equivalent rates natin. So, we have three cases. So, yan, for case number one, it is to determine the compound interest rate equivalent to another compound interest rate. So, ito yung magiging ano natin, formula para sa ating case number one. For our case number 2, it is to determine the simple interest rate to equivalent to compound interest rate. Ayan. So, ito yung magiging formula natin pag kinukuha natin yung case number 2. And lastly, we have case number 3. It is to determine the compound interest rate equivalent to a given simple interest rate. So, ito yung pangmalakasang formula natin doon. So, kapag sinabi natin case number 1, it is to compound to compound. Pag dalawang compound interest yung, uh, yung available. Pag case number 2 naman, ito ay yung unang ano, ay compound. Bago yung pangalawa, magiging simple interest siya. So, for our case number 3, it is to mauna muna yung simple interest bago yung compound interest. So, ito yung illustration niya para hindi magulo. So, case number 1, yung compound to compound, ang nawawala yung nasa rate number 2. Ayan, yung percent, yan, yung percent dyan. Sa case number 2 naman, yung compound to simple interest, ayan, ang nawawala is yung both, yung M natin, tsaka yung percent. Ayan. So, for case number 3, yung simple to compound naman, ang nawawala is yung, ano, yung percent, pero, ano ba yan? Ang given lang sa rate number 1 is yung ano, simple interest. Wala siya nung letter M. Ayan. So, let's have an example. So, if you have a certain amount of money to invest, what would 
be the difference in interest rate in one year if you invest at 10% compounded quarterly and 10% converted monthly. So, paano nga ba siya kukunin? By simply looking at the given, we can already conclude that 10% interest rate compounded quarterly is less than the 10% compounded monthly. But since we want to measure the difference of the two rates, let us compute their effective rates. So, ito yung formula na gagamitin. So, nandito naman yun. Effective rate is equals to 1 plus our nominal rate over M bago raise to M minus 1 then multiply by 100. So, the computation for the 10% compounded quarterly is equals to yung nominal rate natin is wapaltan lang natin ng 10%. Tapos, yung M natin yung notation M ay magiging 4. Kasi nga sinabi ay compounded quarterly. So, yun din, magiging raised to 4 siya. So, kapag in-equate natin siya dito sa ating mga formula, makakuha tayo ng 10.38% as our computation for the 10% compounded quarterly. So, for the computation for the 10% compounded monthly, monthly naman ang sinasabi, so, ang nominal rate natin ay magiging 10%, so, ang M natin ay magiging 12 kasi nga monthly, yan. 12, parang dalawang beses siya magbabayad, ayan. So, pag in-equate ulit natin siya, kapag dinistribute natin yung mga values, makakuha tayo ng effective rate na 10.47%. Ayan, so, difference of the two rates, ayan. So, dito, Ima-minus lang natin siya para makita natin yung difference or yung diferensya ng dalawang rates. So, 10.47% minus 10.38% is equals to 0.09%. So, note the difference of 0.09% might look small but take note that as the principal increases, the difference of in the interest of these two rates will also increase. So next, when interest is compounded monthly, find the nominal rate if the effective rate is letter A, 6.5%, letter B, 5 over 12%, uh, or letter C, at letter C, 1 and 3 fourth percent. So, paano nga ba natin siya kukunin? So, as we compute for the nominal rate, we will use the formula. Ito, nominal rate is equal to M multiplied by 1 plus effective rate raised to 1 over M minus 1 multiplied by 100. Yeah. So, ang magiging, ay ganyan, parang sa substitute lang natin yung mga given na effective rates. Ayan. So, yung, magi, yung sa letter A magiging J is equal to 12 multiplied to 1 plus 6.5. 5% raised to 1 over 12 minus 1. Ayan. Bago times 100 is equal to 6.31%. So, parang ano, din, pinaltan lang natin yung value nung letter E. Hmm. Lagay lang natin. Sabi naman, pinal, ginawa natin siyang 5, 5 over 12% bago raised to ano siya, 1 is 112. Ayan. So, ang magiging value niya is 0. 0.42%. Tapos sa letter C, ginawa natin siyang 1 and 3 fourth percent. So, ang magiging nominal rate niya is 1.74%. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. Basta kaya mo siyang i-analyze kapag binasa mo na yung problem na yun. So, number 3 example, we have if term is 15 months, what rate compounded quarterly is equivalent to 12%? So, let yung A natin ay hinahanap ang simple interest, tapos yung B natin ay hinahanap ang compound semi-annually. So, for uh, for this one, ang gagamitin natin is yung case number 3. Yan. So, ano? Rate is equals to M uh, multiply by 1 plus R sub S times T bago raised to 1 over N minus 1 multiply by 100. Ayan. So, ito, yung magiging, yung M natin is, na, is 4 kasi nga quarterly. Tapos, yung mapapalitan lang yung rate natin ng 12, ano, 12%. Tapos, yung time natin is 15 months. Tapos, yung ating 1 over N is equals nga, diba, sa ano, sa time times, ano, yung M natin na which is 4. So, magiging 1 over 15, 12 times 4 siya. Minus 1 equal, times 100. So, ang bali magiging sagot natin is rate is equals to 11.34%. And that's it. And for our case number, uh, for our number 2 question, yung hinihingi na compound annually. So, ang hahanapin natin ay yung case number 1. So, case number 1 yung given. So, Equivalent rate is equals to 
uh, ME, ito yung formula nun, di ba? Ayan, nandiyan, nandiyan naman. So, ang magiging ME natin is yung 4, kasi nga quarterly pa rin. Tapos, yung ating G ay magiging 12%. Tapos, yung ano natin, raise na. Yung 2 pala, kasi ano, compound annually nga, dalawa. Annually, dalawa. So, bali sa case number 1, sinabi nga natin kanina na ito yung ano, yung formula niya. Tapos, kapag inin natin siya sa scientific calculator, we will get the final equivalent rate of 11.83%. So, so, for number 4, ito yung last example natin. If you are to invest 120,000 at 14% converted monthly for 8 years and 8 months, what simple interest rate could you just as well invest your principal for the same period of time? So, ito yung magiging... Ito yung gagawin natin. The given rate can be converted using the formula for case number 2. So, ayan. Nandiyan naman yung formula. Tapos, ipapalitan lang natin sa substitute natin yung ano, yung mga values. Ayan. So, yung ating ano, yung ating rate na ay 14% 14 divided by 12. Ayan. Kasi nga 12 months. Tapos, yung n natin is equals to 8 years and 8 months. Ayan, kaya may divided by 12 dyan. Bago mo multiply pa natin sa m, which is 12 din. Ayan. Yung time natin, yung 8 years and 8 months. So, kapag sinabstitute na natin yan sa ating calculator, ang makukuha na natin dyan yung 27.01%.